time for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. Hello everybody, Larry here from Larry's Fountain Pens where I talk about fountain pens, inks, paper, notebooks, and many other products. Today I'm at Starbucks doing my number eight pin case live review here at Starbucks. And you can find me at Starbucks, the one on Oakmont and Bryant Irving Road here in Fort Worth. And right now Justin, our fearless leader, is leading the crew. And Cody is a manager at this fabulous number one store. But anyway, here we go. Vanilla latte. And I'm going to just talk about a journal. Here's a journal that I got uh, this past Christmas. It's a nice, fine leather journal that a friend of mine picked it up on Amazon. And it really is some good paper. Not always can you get a good journal quality paper, but this one is. I'm not going to show you uh, a lot of the inside of it because it's a lot of personal stuff, but that's what it looks like. But I will show you uh, some of it because a lot of it's not personal. And here's what I do with it. I, uh, I track my uh, exercise and my carbs in uh, my uh, test and I'm a diabetic so I do my before test before breakfast, lunch and dinner and uh, my total miles I do on my exercise bike I do twice a day now I was doing it three times, four times a day but the doctor told me to cut back I'm, I'm good so anyway, that's what it looks like and it holds up very well the ink and there's a backside for the, this one starting out so the paper holds up for ink very well and uh, I don't have any problems with bleed through, show through. Uh, this right here is just the ink still wet on the paper so no big deal. So it performs very light, nicely and there's over 460 pages I think uh, in this notebook. It's real nice, fine cushion leather. Just a real nice, pleasant notebook. And I do one page per day. At least I'm trying to. And uh, I've done 91 pages so far. That's a page per day. And I, I, I can write five, six, seven, ten pages, not a problem. And how I do mine, here's how I do mine. Let me get a drink real quick. Another latte. Uh, uh, like this is on my desk in my bedroom and uh, before I go to bed at night I do some writing and but every time I get up in the morning I do some writing and when I come home from wherever I'm at I do some writing and I do that throughout the day but I don't fill up the page to the end of the night right before I go to bed I make sure it's complete so, that's, that's what I do on my journal in my room. Now, here's one of my uh, traveler's notebook that I take. It's not my Midori, which I use uh, all the time. This is the one I'm giving a, uh, a time to get used to it. And it's kind of cool. It uh, it's a real thin leather, and yeah. it has enough for four notebooks. And what I like about this one, I can take one out and put one in, and I'll show you real quick. I'll go ahead and take one out. One out, and I'll just put that back in where I don't have to take out all the notebooks and then put them all back in. That makes it convenient. Is it a Midori Traveler's Notebook or the new Traveler's Notebook? No, it's not. That's one of a kind. Great notebook. But I like this one as well. This is real neat. And I, I, I like the plastic insert. All this is from the Midori Traveler's Notebook. Uh, I use it to keep... Uh, papers of whatever cards in it, business cards, and uh, all this here is my uh, uh, notebooks that I use for journaling, 
This one right here is the uh, Goulet uh, with the Tommy Rose thin paper, which I really love. Love it. And uh, like I have something for tomorrow to start, I can share it with y'all. Uh, Monday, April the 3rd, 2017. And I put the temperature down because I like to go back in my journals now and see, you know, well, what day was it? Well, that was a Monday on April the 3rd. And what year? 2017. And the temperature, let's say, was 70 degrees. And what pen did I use and what ink did I use? And then I do a page. Uh, I've been doing one page per day, but I picked it up some. I'll do two or three pages uh, because if I'm not careful, I can do seven or eight pages, not a problem, while I'm here at Starbucks. And then, yeah, Starbucks is where I do a lot of my research, my homework for my fountain pens or any type of product that I uh, put on my YouTube channel. Excuse me. So. I thought I'd share with you because some viewers were asking me about, you know, how do I use my journal? Well, that's just a sum of how I use my journal. Uh, I have more journals, but I carry one with me all the time, and then I have one that stays at my desk all the time. Uh, I do have uh, some I keep at my desk where I do my fountain pen reviews, but those I just put for right now. What kind of ink am I using in my pen? If I like the ink, if I don't like the ink, tell, talk a little bit about the ink. I write it down in the notebook so I won't forget. But with that said, uh, paper is real important for me. Uh, not saying that I won't use just uh, the less expensive paper. I I do use from time to time the uh, the copy paper. Uh, 70 pounds, it, it, it's okay, it works well, and a little less, it's okay, but uh, uh, it just depends, I guess my mood I'm in, my favorite paper of all paper is the Tomo River paper, love it, I like the thin, they have a sticker, but uh, I do like the thin, thin paper, that's the best, and uh, I need to get some more block paper to, uh, to use it to uh, uh, put on the paper because sometimes the ink is still wet so I need to blot it out so it won't go everywhere. Some other papers I use is white. I have some good paper. Uh, Aprica, Rodeo, and there's a new one, Koyo. Kukuyo. Kukuyo. Thank you there, Mr. Announcer. My friends with me helping me with the video. That's uh, some new paper. Uh, and thank you, Jason. Jason sent me some different uh, samples of paper, and that was one of them. Also, uh, Jay Penn sent me some uh, samples of paper as well. Appreciate it from Jay Penn. Thank you a lot. And uh, I didn't bring my... Uh, my uh, Lutron uh, bullet journal, I forgot it, it's at home, but uh, a special thanks to uh, Todd for that from Gold, Gold Spot Pins, he sent me one uh, last year and I've been using it. And if you're new at Bullet Journal, go to Ghost Pod Pen's uh, website and you can look uh, on the Bullet Journal and it'll, it'll show you how to uh, start the Bullet Journal. That's what helped me get started on mine and uh, I've never looked back since. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds of reviews on how to set up your Bullet Journal and how to work your Bullet Journal, but I found his the easiest and that's what made me go with it or I would have started Bullet Journal a long time ago. I didn't think Bullet Journal was for me. Why do I need it? Well, when, when Tom shows you how to do it on, the, on his video, it's all self-explanatory, and then from the rest, you'll love it, and it's history. Well, I think that's going to be enough talking today on Pin Case, but check out my uh, videos and upcoming videos. I have a whole lot of new stuff coming up, and I just posted a 
some videos yesterday that was on Saturday, and I just uploaded one today, and that one's on, uh, I had some viewers request, uh, how do I get my ink off my hands, fingers? Well, that was a good question. It wasn't done by no means, and uh, I, I answered it. And remember, this is how I do it. I'm sure other people have their own ways, but this is me, and I'm content and happy with the way I do it. I've been doing it for two years, and I'll continue to stay like I've been doing it. With that said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. That will give you all a heads up when I get my next video out. And hit that like button. That tell me you're liking something about pin case. Uh, I try to keep my pin case active and go somewhere and do it. And, and you know, so far, I, I like coming to Starbucks and doing it because I can get my pate here while I'm doing a pin case and just relax and just talk with you guys. That's it. So, uh, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about today's pin case. And uh, if you have a favorite traveler's notebook or journal, share them with me and everybody else and uh, spread the love. With that said, be safe and don't text and drive. Talk to you later.